everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day we're gonna finally try to get that header in here. If you've been following along, you know it was kind of taking a lot of work to get up to this moment. We've got bucket seats in there. We installed a floor shifter, got rid of that old shift linkage that was in the way. So hopefully with all of that work done, we can finally get this header in there. I'm going to start by taking off this old exhaust pipe. Got it. Okay, so that's all of them? Yeah, that should come loose now. There you go. Will it wiggle down off there? Uh, looks like it's trying to. Oh, okay, pull down on that, Kayla, while I pry right here. See if we can get it down off of those studs. Almost there. There it goes. Can you pull down on that anymore? Will it come out of there a little yep. bit? All right, now we need to go down to the river bracket, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think if it'd be easier to push the exhaust and pull the boot or pull the boot and... Either way, it's kind of a pain. They're just really hard. To... They got a special tool for this, and of course we don't have it. So... All right, here we go. It's about to come off. There we go. You just need an old man? Just, just old man strength? Old man strength, yeah. <laughs> So now that I've got all of this out of the way, I'm going to go back underneath and get that old shift linkage out of the way. So this is that old shift linkage that just has to go just in the way. Okay. There's two little bolts here. Here we go. Look at all that room you just opened up. I think a header's gonna fit in there. What do you think? Think so. Should be able to just run straight through here. Yep. Whole new exhaust pipe and everything. Sweet. Okay, I'm on that side. My backer. Thank you. <laughs> Are you, really? I don't know about that. Uh, hey, wait a second, okay? You trust the process. <laughs> I don't know if I trust this process. <laughs> well, all right, it worked. Hmm. Yeah, you may have to tap that off with a hammer. I'll grab one. Hang on. too bad. It came off a lot easier than I thought it would. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this other bracket off of the other side. And it's just because these kind of hang down pretty low. I don't want to just leave them under here, so I'm going to go ahead and take them off. We don't need them anyway. Am I going the right way? Yeah, yeah. you're going the right way. There Woo! you go. Like that. Busted my knuckle. Oh, no. Same thing as the other side. Oh, this side didn't need a hammer. Cool. 
yeah, see, I think that rod will just stay in there. It's not hurting anything. Okay. Time to finally get this big, ugly exhaust manifold out of here. Ooh, Dang, first, first try. try. Look at you. Yeah, watch out for my my O2 sensor down there, right? Yeah. Just kind of wiggle it up out of there. I think it comes up from the top, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, we've had it out like three times. We ought to know. Huh? Oh, I did it. <laughs> There's one more bracket I want to get rid of. Got it. Cool. Okay. So here's the moment of truth. See mm -hmm. if this thing will fit down in there finally. It wouldn't surprise me if we don't still end up need to cut the flange off. This could possibly still end up in the way right up against the transmission pan, but not to worry because we can get by without that, no problem. The main thing is that the rest of it fits in there. the header in there finally I know it's actually yeah dude Woo. okay so I'm just gonna tighten only two of those bolts for now and then we'll get underneath it and kind of check out our clearance so this is what we were talking about see this flange here kind of bumps right up against my transmission pan so I'm thinking if we just cut this off we should have plenty of room to run um, an exhaust pipe through here. So we kind of knew that going in that's why I only tightened two of those bolts uh, we just wanted to double check and make sure so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back off. You gonna loosen? No I don't think I am actually. Okay, got that out of the way. I'm gonna make me a nice little line here to go by so I know where to cut. that now we don't need it all right so it's gonna connect about like that gives us room drops down a little bit to get us below this cross member and kind of come through this area here. So we have the header in the truck. We started a couple tack welds on it and then to get around to the top side of this, it was kind of too close to the floor. So we took the header back out so that I can weld this side of it.
You're doing great. Slow down. Hang on. Let, hit the trigger and pull off of it. There you go. When it gets stuck like that, you have to hit the trigger and pull off. You're doing good. Slow down just a little bit. Go right beside it. Feel that little gap up. You see there's a little gap there? And look, you can hit it and stop. Hit it and stop. Hit it and stop. You don't have to run. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. See how that's still there? Yeah, you can see you could do it just like it the whole time. We've got my welding done. I'm gonna dress it up, make it look a little bit nicer with my grinder here, kind of clean it up a little bit, and then back in the truck it goes. It's getting pretty late on us. We're gonna have to finish this up tomorrow. I've gotta to get to work. So I'm gonna get this bolted in here. We're gonna be straight piping to work tomorrow. Um, and then later tomorrow evening, I'll get back down here. We'll get started back again um, with getting pipes going and then uh, get a muffler thrown on here. This is what we've got going on so far. We're just straight piping right now. We've got that pointed down. So I think that'll sound pretty cool with it pointed down at the road like that. Um, with the sound bouncing back off, I think it'll sound pretty cool. So just one last thing for us to do tonight. I've got to change my O2 sensor over. <laughs> that thing is rusty sounding. Okay, it turned. Oh, there you go. Is it going in there? Yeah. Alright, so it's the next day. We're back out here. I just got off of work. I want to start by getting this exhaust tip unbolted. It was fun riding around with the straight pipe, but that thing is rattling my ears. It is, is way too loud. I'm sure my neighbors love it. I keep coming back with a louder truck. <laughs> but we're going to start by getting that unbolted, and then we're going to work on getting uh, or building my pipe. So we'll start by that. There we go. So I've got two little bolts to undo on this exhaust clamp. Okay. This is coming off mm -hmm. right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That clamp really clamped it on there tight, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Trying to wedge this screwdriver in here so I can get that to flare out a little bit. So I can try to wiggle that off. So that clamp did a really good job. Yeah, I'm really stuck. <laughs> Get off of there. Finally. What'd you say? You got your hair caught yeah. in the wheel? Oh, no. Oh, no. Need help. <laughs> Do you need assistance for real? Oh. Here, let me see. Oh, my God. I can't believe, I can't believe this is what we're working with. Is that better? There you go. Sauce tip is off. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get my O2 sensor out of the way. That way I don't have something else to fight with because we're pulling this out again for the last time. Here we go. Up here. So I've cut off my um, exhaust tip, my temporary pipe, which is this right here. I'm gonna weld a new pipe to this. It'll be a little bit uh, bigger in diameter to match up to this uh, real nice. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this paint off and everything. So I got in here with this piece of pipe, got everything lined up with my sharpie here. 
This line here tells me how far in I need to go, and where it needs to line up at. So I think it's I think it's pretty set for some tack welds. We were working under here and I noticed that this was in my way and it's actually the old exhaust bracket which we no longer need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of here. Whoa, wrong way, yo. Is it really? Oh, sure enough. It's <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> I'm going to shorten this little piece of my exhaust pipe a little bit. That way, when we weld this on there, we can still be able to get our header out of there with no problems. I'm going to throw some tack welds in here. I've got my pipe all lined up good. Rest, rest your hand somewhere, like get comfortable. If you have to rest your arm, your elbow, whatever, against something, yeah, like that, so that you're not just out there floating in the wind. Did I get one? Well, hit, hit the trigger for and count to two. Go one, one thousand, two, one thousand. There you go, see that was a good one. Do that again. Nice, there you go, you're getting it. All right, so I cut the end off this is my uh, Flowmaster, it came off of an old dually truck. I'm going to downgrade it a little bit, make, weld a new end to this, make it a little bit smaller so it'll fit my truck better. So I've got everything tacked up right where I want it. Um, no, everything's lined up really good, nothing's touching my cross members or my frame or anything like that. Um, I've got a nice little uh, exhaust bracket here to hold that on, or exhaust clamp. Um, to hold that together and we could be able to take this off if I ever need to take my header out for any reason. So we're actually going to do that right now so we can get this yeah, welded up completely. Okay, I'm going to get everything finished up and welded here. We get it tack welded while it's on the truck and then we take it back off. That way we can go around and weld the top of it. And the reason why we can't do that is because we can't really access it. It's pretty close to the floor when we're under there. So we go ahead and tack weld it and then take it back off so we can finish it up out here and then we'll put it back on. That's pretty good. Got it all welded up. I'm gonna dust a little bit of engine header paint so it's okay if this stuff heats up. Dust a little bit of black on it because I think it'll look a little bit better. It's time to finally get this thing in here for the final time. Everything's all welded together. It's just a matter of getting this all bolted in here. Victory! <laughs> I'm gonna get my O2 sensor screwed in here. I 
had to weld on a little exhaust hanger right here, so I'm just going to paint over that where I've grinded away. I've got my O2 sensor back in there, I've spliced my wires together here, and then covered it with some heat shrink. Now we're going to go through with my heat gun. So here's what we came up with. Everything is all nice and welded together. I've got it tucked up in there pretty good. So nothing should be dragging. Eventually this truck's gonna be really low. And I think that tailpipe down here on that Flowmaster with that pointed down at the ground is gonna sound pretty cool. Not bad for some, for some stuff just lying around the yard. I think it's gonna go great. There it is, you guys, finally. I am so happy to see that in there. I know my dad is happy that that is over with finally. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Took a lot of time and some creativity um, on dad's part. Good job. <laughs> um, and I'm happy that it was all worth it. That's what I wanted was a header and we finally got one and it looks freaking awesome. Let's fire this thing up, see what it sounds like with that brand new header and that single chamber flow master. I think it'll sound pretty cool. Let's see. finally in there after a couple times trying and a couple days of hard work but that's usually how these projects go thank you for helping me reach my goal 20,000 subscribers before new year's i cannot believe we did that thank you guys so much for following along with my build i appreciate you guys so much i'll leave a link down below for my instagram and um i think we're gonna get out of here on this one i think we call this one a victory right we freaking did it <laughs>